Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 28 of my How to Make Video Games tutorial series. Here we're going to continue making Zelda, and more specifically, I'm going to have the camera follow Link using a script. I'm also going to create the Link script and a Sound Manager script, and I'm going to handle all of my collisions. Like always, all the code is available in a link in the description underneath the video, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, back inside of Unity, and what I'm going to do here first is I am going to create a whole bunch of tags and add tags to everything. So add tag and come over here, and I'm going to need gem, and I'm also going to need bush, and this is going to be for handling collisions between these items as well as link, boomerang, and bomb, and bow and link, and door, and stone. Okay, I think that is everything. And then I'm gonna assign them to all the game objects. So I'm just gonna come in here and select all the gems and then just assign, whoops, gem to them. And do the same for my bushes. There's bush and then the individual weapons and we'll be able to throw the throw boomerangs and bombs and all that stuff as the tutorial continues and the bow and the link of well that's not going to be link what well, i have to create link actually here in a second so there's the door and here is the stone Okay, so we have all of those all tagged and we'll be able to use those later on. Now what I wanna do is I wanna set, well, let's set Link up. So I'm just gonna come in here, get my sprites, and I'm gonna use the same design we used before. So this is kind of a review of how we're going to do animation. So 53 through 54, that's gonna be the idle version of Link. And I'm just gonna drag that inside here. Let's call that, well, first off, let's go into the animations folder and I'm gonna call this idle two. There's idle two and we'll save that. And then I'm going to drag this guy up here and let's rename it Link. Okay, and now let's give this the tag of Link so we don't forget. Always, if you're thinking of something, go and change it immediately. All right, where do we want him to be? We want him to be in like the 1-1 position to start off and then verify that Link, the empty around it, is at the 0-0 position. So that's good. Now we have all of these guys all set up. So what we want to do is go and do the animations otherwise for everything else. And guess what? We can go in here and just drag our old animations in. So there's going to be walk down, and there is walk right, and here is walk up. So there those guys are. And we can go and create our, well, we're going to have to go in here and create our property again. So this is going to be an integer, and it is going to be called move dire direction, just like we had before. And then what we can do is go and do transitions. So make transitions from walk down to idle. And what this is going to be is going to be whenever move direction is going to be equal to zero. And then we can go from idle, make transition to walk down. That is going to happen when, well, we gotta select this first. And that is going to occur whenever move direction, and that's walk down, is gonna be equal to four. So equal to four. And if you can't see this view, full screen it's an HD video and make transition so we're gonna go from idle to walk right and whenever come over here this is going to be equal to three so just change that to three and then go make transition you can see how easy with a little bit of practice it is to just blindly go in here and just add all these different animations and we'll go back to that when that's equal to zero and then make transition and walk up's gonna go there and that is going to occur whenever move direction is equal to zero and then we will go to walk up whenever our well, we're going to select that one make sure we select the proper one yes that's the right one and that's going to be whenever move direction is equal to two and there we go we just went and did all that stuff again so through repetition it will be very easy to remember all this stuff and that's all we need to do we just animated link and everything is awesome now so we can show link we're going to select him and then come over to the sorting layer and set that for link and now you can see he's down there and if we play it you're going to see that he's going to be spastically jumping around so we're going to slow that down a little bit go back into the animator and walk down and we'll change this to like 0.3 and 0.3 and i'm just changing the speeds on this so it's a little bit slower and 
whenever I get into actually animating them on the screen, I might change those as well. So let's just go in here and let's play it again and see if he moves a little bit. See, that's a little bit better. Okay. So there we are. So temporarily, that's what that's going to be. And we'll worry about animating it more later. Now, what I want to do is I want to make my camera move. Actually, let's get the sound manager out of the way. So let's open up sound manager. Now, basically with the sound manager, I'm doing the same things I always did. Well, let's jump back over into Unity and create the sound manager. Okay, so let's just come in here, create empty, and let's call it sound manager. So sound manager, and spell that right. Okay, then we're gonna select the sound manager, and we're gonna come in, add components and audio, and this is just gonna allow us to play everything. So we go audio source, and then we're going to, be, you can drag audio clips in here if we wanna have background music, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And that's basically all I need to do. That is going to create our sound manager for us. And I'm gonna grab the script and drop it inside of there. And now I'll explain what the sound manager script does. Okay, so I've done this a bunch of times. This is where our sound clips are gonna be. This is going to be what's called a singleton, which means we can only ever have one sound manager. And this is how we set that up. We go and create a static sound manager inside of here. Here's audio source, which is gonna to refer to the audio source that's added to the sound manager to play our sound effects. And then down here is where we are going to guarantee that there is only one ever sound manager. So if the sound manager is equal to null, then what that means is we're going to assign it to it. Else what we're gonna do is destroy the new sound manager somebody's trying to create. We are then going to get a hold of our audio source. And then down here, this is going to be the function that any of the scripts are going to be able to call to play sound effects, okay? Very simple, I've covered Sound Manager in pretty much every other game I've made so far, so I don't wanna waste your time covering that again. Of course, you can go watch any of my previous games and you'll see how that works. So now we are going to create our camera move script. So we're just gonna come inside of Unity and we're going to right click on it, create C-sharp script, and we're gonna call this camera move. And then we'll go and open that up. And here it is. Okay, so very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and put a link here to, basically this is where link is going to be stored so that we know what to track with our cam with our, our camera on the screen. So we're gonna call that camera target. And we are also going to define how quickly the camera is gonna to move towards link whenever link moves. So this is going to be a float and this is going to be camera speed. And then I'm going to need to define my minimum and maximum movements um, in regards to the XY plane for our game. So I'm gonna define a bunch of floats for that. So this is gonna be the minimum X. And this is basically going to define how we are going to keep Link pretty much always centered in the middle of our screen. So we'll go float and this is gonna be max X. And then we will have public float max Y. All right, and you're gonna see how those work. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have fixed update, which is of course what we always use whenever we are dealing with rigid bodies. So we'll go fixed update and this is where everything's gonna be. So the very first thing that I wanna do if I'm gonna be tracking something is I wanna make sure that the user has assigned a camera target. So we're going to verify that the camera target is not equal to null. And if that is so, what we're going to do is we're going to use a thing called lerp, which is going to smooth the movement from the starting position to the target position. So to do that, we're gonna say new position for our camera and we'll go vector two and lerp. And lerp's just used for smoothing of movement. That is it. So transform position. And then we will reference our camera target position. So we're gonna move from the position the camera's targeted on whenever it first starts off towards the camera position itself. Okay, so, and then we go delta time times our camera, camera speed. And that is going to define how quickly we are going to move in that direction. We then need to define the camera's new position, and that's going to be equal to new vector three and new position X, as well as new position Y, and then negative 10 F, okay? So that is going to be our new position. 
Then we're going to use a thing called clamp, which is going to get the camera's X position and clamp it between the minimum and maximum values. So we'll go var and clamp X and we go math f dot clamp is where it is located and then we'll pass in vector 3 x and then the min x and max x that is going to surround that guy then we're going to do basically the same thing for the y position and this is vect 3 let's get rid of that make sure we get that properly in there all right so there that is and then we're going to copy that and then we'll have clamp y and then we'll just change this to y and this will also be set for y and y and that is all we're going to have to do except we'll move our camera so transform position is equal to new vector 3 and pass in clamp x and clamp y and negative 10 f once again okay and that is going to move our camera based off of the movements of link. And we're going to have to come up here and go file save for some reason. It doesn't always work. We'll go save all. All right, so camera move save. Now we'll jump back over into Unity. And we're going to go and get camera move and assign it to the main camera. So just drag it over here. Well, nope, drag it over here. <laughs> Whoops, let's get it again. All right, so grab it and drop it inside of there. All right, so who's our target? Our target is Link. So we're going to go and drag Link over here and drop him in there. We're going to define our camera speed for 2.5, which works well normally. This is going to be 100, and that's going to be 100. All right, so there we go. We have all of that information set up to track Link. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save our scenes. So save scenes and save project. And we're going to jump over into our other scene and steal. Oh, wait a minute. This is Link. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, let's open this up. We're going to create a new version of our Link code. And we're just going to steal this. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it all and copy it. Jump back over into inside of here and create and C Sharp script. And this is going to be called Link 2. If this pops up, just hit reload. That always works. And then I'm going to just select everything inside here, paste in our copied code, change this to link to, and then just make a couple little changes inside of here. All right, so I don't have the game board set up yet. It's going to be different than what I used before, so I'm just going to comment that out for now. And let's also comment out that guy. And there's our sound manager. We're just going to leave that as is for right now. Come down inside of the fixed update because we are going to make changes to this guy. And the change we're going to make is we're going to copy this right here. And then we're going to delete everything else. So we'll just delete all of this stuff, everything here, and to replace it with that guy right there. Okay, so we don't need to check any of those things anymore. And as far as I'm aware, we're going to have to go up here and five sa oh, file save all and jump back over to Unity. And then we're going to select a link right here and then grab the link to script and drop it inside of there. Did it go? There it is. And then we'll change the speed to 2.5. And once again, that is uh, link's movement speed. Okay. All right. So back inside of Unity. Now what we need to do is add our rigid body to link. So here we go. We'll just go add components, physics 2D, rigid body. Bring that up here. We will change the mass to 0 .001. Um, we will change our gravity scale to zero because we do not want anything to be changing link unless we say it. Change our collision to continuous, freeze rotation. As you can see, I've done this a lot. We'll come in here, physics 2D once again, and we're gonna add a box collider to link. So box collider. And right now we're gonna set is trigger but for right now, we're just going to leave that exactly the way it is. And let's save it, and everything should work now. And here we are. You can see the camera is following Link. You can see that Link is moving pretty well. So our animations are working. You can also see that Link is moving upwards. He's moving left and right. Uh-oh, he's not colliding with stuff. Well, he's colliding with some things, but not other things. A little bit. Oh, you know what? That's because I don't have colliders on my bushes. So no big deal. You can see, oh, right there. I want Link to be, or the tree to be above Link. So let's jump out of that. Let's fix the one thing that we know that we want to fix right now. 
So let's come in here and let's just select link and we'll go into our sorting layer. And I'm going to say that I want to add a new one, but I actually don't want to add a new one. I just want to put tree above link so that link can walk behind the tree. Okay. That was the only reason I did that. Let's run it make sure it works and come on link, get up there and go behind that tree. And now link goes behind the tree so you can hide back there. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. And I'll basically have to put colliders on all of those objects. You can also see that we were, let's see, there's nothing there. So we're going to put colliders on those objects as well. And everything else, though, is working absolutely perfect. Let's see if I can walk in this door or not. If I, ah, look at that. I'm able to walk into the door. And of course, whenever he goes into that door, well, sometimes he goes in, sometimes he doesn't. So I'm gonna have to uh, maybe play around. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, so I might have to tweak that slightly, but everything is looking exactly the way I want it. The animations are working, the collisions are working. See, I can't go in there. I can go up into that crevice though. I can go into that crevice, but not anymore over. So basically in the next part of the tutorial, what I wanna do is I wanna add collisions to the bushes as well as animate Link so he'll be able to smash the bushes and get the gems and do all of that other stuff. And I think this is a good place to start off because we did a lot of really awesome things. And like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.